everyone, welcome back to some more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And I haven't been sitting still when since the last video. I actually explored this area a little bit because I wondered where this um, one area is right over here and how I get there. Uh, I do know now, um, but I also found out that if you start hunting birds, you get 20 XP per bird, and that's a lot. So I'm running out of arrows. Um, I only have eight left, but that should be enough. But I leveled up twice, and let's spend those points first before we continue. And it says there's an upgrade here, but I don't actually think there might be, or there they are, but I don't have the materials for that. So, um, but I want to spend two I want to have two these two perks I'm basically going into the seeker tree line first before we start exploring probably this area a little bit um, so reveal challenge objects while using survival instincts is really good so I like to have that and the one beside the reveal artifacts monoliths treasure chests archivized maps and explorer backpacks while using survival instincts I think it's good to get these two early on in the game and have the least amount of chance that I miss stuff. Alright, so I'm basically almost done with this area, however, there's one little quest challenge I want to do. And it's not this, <laughs> that's the way back, it's this one, right over there. You need to shoot down four of them. And we're going to do that and we'll show you where they are. And then we are going to proceed with the next area. Another thing you might have noticed is that um, it's right now, it's not cinematic. And I'm going to uh, manually put the cinematic screen in whenever a cinematic comes up and remove it as well. It's going to take um, some effort from my part for editing, of course. But I think overall that looks much better. And I think I've got it sorted out um, and prepared as well, of course. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do let me know. Do let me know, please. All right, the last one is over here. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go to the other side and we explore as much as we can from this area. But we will come back at a later stage. But for now start exploring this particular area and this is going to be a pretty cool video Miguel I don't like this Miguel where are you oh no <sighs> Miguel Miguel All right. So Miguel was here, our pilot. But he's not here anymore. Also, man, what's this? Description of a monster. Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sisamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight, but takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure what to think about that. Alright. At least I can now make new arrows and I really, really need them. But it'll be fine. Miguel?
That was amazing. The graphics are amazing. So good. Cool. There he is. A little buggy. Can I get that? Got to be careful here. That's a big spider. Holy shit. Be really pissed off by now. I wouldn't lie, that was really intense. That was amazing. Yeah, birds. Can I? Oh, I'm completely out of arrows even. But, um, so I just <laughs> managed to do this fight. Ooh. But there's uh, there's wood here together, so it's good. it's all good. It's all good. And um, I. There's lots of cloth here. But, uh, yeah, I need wood. Lots of it. But a bit further on in the game, I'll get plenty. But let's restock as much as I can. Is there another one? Yeah, there's another one. Perfect. Oh, there's more cloth there. Cloth is, I think, really important. You see me making these... Uh, Flaming arrows, you need cloth for that. Although I'm not sure if I should use it right now for these types of arrows, but. Okay, some more cloth over here. That was a really, really cool fight. Wow. We have everything. Um, looks like it. Yeah, okay, let's continue. <laughs> let's see if we can uh, find Jonah. 
Oh. Uh -huh. That's part Jonah. of the wreckage. Jonah! Some of these healing herbs because I was almost out as well. That was that fight took quite a bit of resources. Oh, there we go. Page of Jack Fawcett, Expeditional Journey. Sixth of June. Father's outward enthusiasm is at an all-time high, though I have doubts. In the middle of the night, I have caught the whites of his eyes reflecting moonlight. His stare vacantly locked to the stars. Were it not for all the stories he has shared of the Amazon in the past, I would mistake his gaze as regretful, even mournful. Perhaps it is simply these insects making their way through our head nets causing him such consternation. Wow. And... Morklov, excellent. Wow. This game looking so good. Hey bunny. Not going to hunt bunnies. Bunnies only give 5 XP. Because you an arrow. Birds on the other hand. 20 XP for one arrow. So yeah. Take you though. More loot here. 1st of August. Tonight sleep escapes us. The jungle is angry and the moon is uncooperative. The human imagination wanders endlessly in the dark this deep. I can hear the jungle's breath ruffling behind my ears, its low growl shaking the very ground we lay on, its manic energy rustling through the trees above. Rest has become the lead on our search, finding us at the most inopportune time. I have caught father dozing off mid-step and his hand barely clutching his walking stick. We have run out of food and are sustained almost entirely by gathered berries and rainwater. The both of us are far too unyielding to give up. I fear the very stubbornness that led us to this point may also be that which leads us to our early graves. Wow, they had a rough time. Okay, we can go up here. We can swing over there. Let's check this out first. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, I see. We have to go up anyway. I want to explore everything. Every little piece that I can. There we go. <gasps> really? Oh. How convenient. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do the proper jump here. Let's go across and see what's up at the other side. Yep. There we go. Alright. Twenty XP. Yeah, <laughs> so nice. I'm not sure if we can get up there, but Oh, Oh, we can't get in here. Um, yeah. I think we need to go to the plane wreck and see if Jonah's there. Maybe we get some of our gear back. There we go. I thought I 
Diego, you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some warm wood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. Oh, hey, what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours. We could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. Awesome. Let's loot this camp. <laughs> I bet there's goodies over here. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. Yeah, we're going to check that out in a second. I'm glad you stayed at our site. If you are out there, I want oh, to oh yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, we have a campfire. Um, oh, I saw something sparkling there on the ground. See, that's our new perk. I love it. All right, let's see. Um, oh, more wood, yes, please. All right, we're pretty much stocked up completely. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> Do you really believe in all that that stuff that you said about the cataclysm, the apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I, when I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know... If it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? <laughs> yeah, I would. Like, you can't imagine. But I'd still understand. It's not revenge. Okay. Let's, uh, I was waiting for them to stop talking. Let's go over here, check this out, and... I think there's a script, script over here. Oh yes. Oh, 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 oh,
Yes! Nice, right on top of... Oh, no piranhas. No, no piranhas. Right on top of that plant. That was pretty cool. I do, at some time, really like a perk to stay longer underwater. Underwater scenes are not my thing. Alright. What's over here? Yes, we go up here. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is this a gold? Looks like it. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, we need to jump. That's excellent. if we could get some more gear. I like it. So I was short one cloth and I regret making that one fire arrow now. Within lies Rally Rimmel, friend, 1925. Hmm. There's a little more. Where is it? Beware, traps ahead. Oh, I really couldn't find that one for a second. Alright, there are traps ahead. I no didn't one's expect... Been through here in years. I didn't expect anything less. <laughs> Alright. Who is this? May Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife. And may her stories comfort us. Cool. Spider friend? Oh, there's the trip. Oh yeah. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted oh. by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of hair binding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. It also has evidence wow. of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull. Yeah. Uh. Nice! Monolith unlocked. Okay. Ancient dialect increased. Cool. I guess it opens this door. Yes. I think this is the way out. Alright, so let's go over here. Get these. High up. Mm. There we go. Oh, yes, it's a tomb. Excellent. We're about to get new gear. Oh, oh. Shit. Yeah, i seen that. I need that perk that makes it visible, but I saw it by the old stones. Oh, there's another trap over here. I 
the room. I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Cool. Let's get our new stuff. Shit, I'll have to keep going. Yep. Up. Well, I have to go up. Really? Oh, that's it's double jumping. There we go. I see. There you go. Let's go. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Check this out first. Oh, I see. What is that? Is that like a helmet or some kind of armor? Can I, no, I can't get that. That's weird. The music, the sound man is. Oh, that's okay. It's body armor. And a helmet. Hmm. The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves. Wow, it's the lore in this game is amazing. That must have been a long time ago. All right, let's see. Oh hell yes! Excellent evening star. Going to craft that ASAP. Alright, there's another double jump here. And that's us done. Excellent. Alright, let's go back to base camp. Back to Jonah. Let's see if we can craft this. Either the boots or um, this new armor we just got. That looks really, really cool. And it has a bonus on it as well. No! What are you? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know why she did that. But that's okay. like that. And the feathers are still here. Oh, I can take them now, which is good. All right, cool. Let's see if we can craft. I keep the point, but let's see. We have this, we can either probably because yeah it takes a lot of cloth so we have to choose we have either get uh, gain additional plants and minerals crafting resources from each resource it's pretty good increase the duration of perception herb effects require eye of the eagle skill um not sure about this eye of the eagle skill but i like this 
So I think I'm going to start with this one first and at the next opportunity I need five more cloth. I'll make that for sure. Eye of the Eagle. What is Eye of the Eagle? Eagle's Grasp. Eagle's Sight. I don't know. Let's continue. Or maybe... I think we're going to... Um, yeah, stop the video here. Um, it's already half an hour, so... Um, that was pretty cool. That was an intense fight with the... Uh, what are we? Jaguars? Leopards? Not sure. And we did a tomb. We got new boots. Doing great. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And um, stay tuned for the next episode coming up soon. Until then, whoa. We can actually shoot him. <laughs> I got him. Oh, I'm sorry. 85. Wow, okay, that was pretty cool. 85 XP. So that eagle. I wonder if. I'm, hang on. Right in the middle of my outro. Oh, there it is. 12 condor feathers. That's so good. Wow. All right. Cool. That's a really good <laughs> way to end this video. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, as I said, stay tuned for the next video coming up very soon. Till then, have a good day. Bye. Bye.